In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at the seven evaporate transitions that come under the subdivision of alpha transitions, which means to some degree you can edit them. The evaporate transitions are all identical except for the image on which they're built. So I'm going to quickly go through all seven and you'll see them on the preview screen. I'm going to make this a little bigger here so you can see a little better and then we'll just slide through here one at a time. The first one is just called evaporate and it kind of looks like smoke or mist moving from one slide or scene to another. The next one's evaporate bubble which can create a rather interesting look. The third one's my favorite, evaporate middle. I like the way this transitions from one to another because it's contiguous. This is evaporate painted lines. The next one is evaporate ripple, which leads us to evaporate ripple two and evaporate top is the last one. So that's a look at the transitions. One of the things that I find helpful is to try to figure out which ones give me the uh, the best kind of transition with the least weirdness. But when I look at a couple of them, like uh, this evaporate top, it seems like we have a disintegrating heads here. And uh, I find that a little bit odd, unless that's what you want. If I were doing a horror film, I'd use that one. Uh, this one here isn't too bad. It, it, it kind of comes together from the outside and moves to the center. That's Ripple 2. Uh, ripple 1, and again, is pretty disjointed. And I find that a little more awkward to my eye. I do like the... Uh, and the painted lines is similar because you have here stuff at the bottom and over here in different places um, that are not necessarily contiguous areas. I do like the middle because it starts as, starts in the center and then it moves out. Uh, the, the bubble again can give you different images, especially if you have uh, individuals involved in the cut, the scene or the picture. And then this other one is pretty scattered here. Um, it works if you want kind of a smoky look to it, but those are some of the differences. Now let me quickly remind you of a couple things about editing these. To edit any of the transition, you just double click on it and go to Transition Designer. Now all of the seven will give you the same screen that what you see here. The only difference is uh, the image the gray and black image in the upper left corner will be different for each of these because that that's what makes each of them unique. On most of them, you can add a border if you want to and a color. Here's one starts out with green. And that shows an example. I probably would pick a, a different color, maybe a gray or a black. Um, we'll try that and see what difference that is. Not bad. Or you could use a white. Um, you can also uh, change the speed of the transition uh, by using the keyframe here. I'm going to add a keyframe again by clicking anywhere in this line. And I'll move this up so it will transition quickly and then slowly. You'll see the difference here. I'll click over here. There it transitioned fast and then there's a little residual transition left. You can barely see it. Now if you find that in the built-in transition or in anything that you add, that you add these keyframes and you want to take them away, one of the things that you can do is you can simply click on this right arrow under pro progression that will move you to the keyframe. If you want to delete it, it will turn yellow. The diamond will turn yellow and you click on the diamond, it'll go away. Now I'll move to the next one, click on the diamond, and move to the next one, click on the diamond. That's how you remove uh, keyframes as you modify the transitions. But this is basically the, uh, the kind of feature you have in any of them. And so if you want to modify them, 
this is the screen to use. I'm going to simply cancel that, cancel out. But that's a quick overview. Uh, yes, okay. This is a quick overview of the transitions available under the category of evaporate. There are seven of them. And you can pick the ones that do the kind of work that you think would be effective in your particular situation.